بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد ابن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد All praise is due to Allah, the Creator, the Sustainer, the Cherisher. And after sending peace and blessings to our Master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, I am super excited to announce to our esteemed viewers of Al Huda TV that we will be embarking on a series of Islam and Arts. It's a very interesting topic that most of the Muslims shy away from it, not knowingly that it's a very interesting topic and a very good topic, especially for our kids. On these couple of episodes, insha'Allah ta'ala, we will learn on what Islam is playing the role in art and what is the significance of art in Islam. And we'll also learn the basics of art, what one requires for him to start art. Another thing that we'll learn, inshallah ta'ala, during the course of these episodes is a little bit of history of Islam and art in Islam. And we will also encourage our viewers, especially children at home, make sure you do not miss any episode. Don't skip episodes because by doing so you will be lacking behind. These episodes, they are arranged in a form that after one episode, the next episode that follows is in aligning, it's aligning to the episode that is behind it. So please, please, dear viewers, dear parents, don't let your son or your daughter skip any lesson, which will be very interesting for them. And inshallah ta'ala, after the end of these episodes, your child will learn a thing or two on ants. With that in mind, before we begin anything, we must define what is art. And then, after finding the definition of art, we should narrow it down and see does it conflict or contradicts with Islam teaching and does Islam say anything according to the definition of us inshallah ta'ala from there on it's up to the parent and us to us to teach and to make sure that our children experience this beautiful season on Al Huda TV at has so many different meanings and definitions. We will pick one definition, which is according to the Oxford Dictionary. They say that art is an expression of creative human skills or imagination in a way of painting, sculpturing, poems, and all this is for the purpose or for the work of bringing out beauty or emotional power to the recipient. With that in mind, we have learned that the essence of art is all about beauty. And uh, Islam appreciates beauty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the heavens and earth. And if you take a look at the heaven and the earth, mashallah, it's very beautiful. Take a look at the sky, mashallah, very beautiful. Take a look at the ocean, take a look at the birds, take a look at the mountains, they are very beautiful. Not forgetting human beings, we are very beautifully created. So with that in mind, we have learned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he himself appreciates beauty. And Islam supports that. And that's why Islam has played a major role in art. For example, if you take a look at the Kaaba, we regard, we regard the Kaaba as the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How beautiful is the Kaaba? It's not just a plain 
black house or a plain cube which is not colorful no it is very beautiful take a look at the keys of the kaaba very colorful very beautiful mashallah so according to history of us and islam it goes way back to the 7th century before that muslims or the arabs often the arabs were not known as painters or people who were well defined in sculpturing what they had most in common and the type of art they practiced a lot was poem and they were very good at it very best at poems but after people converted to islam many cultures mixed and among the cultures that mixed with the arabs was the persian culture and in that is where islam has drawn a lot a lot of art from the persian culture if you take a look at the rags that muslim use at mosques that art is like borrowed from the ashan from the persian culture way back during the prophet time sallallahu alaihi wasallam take a look at our doors there are different type of doors you can find a lamu door in a mosque you might find a turkish door in a mosque they are all beautiful speaking of doors you might have find or you might have come across these beautiful doors from saudi arabia from jidda and riyadh which were inspired by the trees or seeds or the fruits at a particular region for example if you go to jidda they used to decorate their doors even now they still do so they decorate their doors with colorful seeds of pomegranate or any other tree that is residing at that particular place so islam appreciate arts and arab also appreciate arts with that in mind islam kept on practicing arts after the persians you come to the turkish which they have played a major role in arts including doing calligraphies on the tiles doing calligraphies on leaves doing calligraphies on canvases so islam appreciates arts and it has a very beautiful history with art and until now islam is still practicing art and it encourages muslim to practice art because art is all about beauty as we as, de- as we have defined it from according to the oxford dictionary with that in mind maybe we should mention a person who has benefited from art there is this guy whose name is abdul halim amin when they were coming up with the idea of the kiswa that is almost 20 years ago since he died now is 20 years ago since he died when they had come up with the idea of the kiswa kiswa is the cloth of the kaaba so there was this remaining part of the kaaba that was unfinished so this guy i mean was the one who completed the sequence of the calligraphy on the kiswa and due to the work that he had done due to the beauty that he had brought to the kaaba the king decided that his name will be written on the kiswa mashallah he died a long time ago 20 years ago but until now his name his legacy is still there on the kiswa if you go around the kiswa if you do tawaf then there is someone's name on that kiswa how beautiful is that dear parents imagine your child grows up to become an artist then he participates in in beautifying the kiswa beautifying the house of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's a blessing and that is what islam is all about so this guy died a long time ago but until now we are still living on his legacy so islam appreciates arts islam appreciates beauty with that in mind inshallah ta'ala will be having these episodes that will talk about more on islam and art and just to emphasize on our dear esteemed viewers we emphasize mostly for the children because this will be for a beginner lesson for the children 
we ask you parents please please make sure your child does not miss out on this inshallah ta'ala on our next episode we will start on requirements of art and the colors that are mentioned in the holy quran just to show you that islam appreciate us and also we we'll learn to mix some primary colors to make the secondary colors inshallah on our next episode wa billahi tawfiq